welcome back. I know it's been a while. Uh, during quarantine, there's not a whole lot to film, but we are on a mission. I have never seen a moose. We lived in Maine for a year, and we've spent a lot of time in Maine as full-time RVers, and we've still never seen a moose. So we are on our way to Millinocket, Maine, uh, which is near Baxter State Park, supposedly one of the best places to see moose, and we are on the lookout. So the RV needs some servicing. And originally our plan was to uh, book it at a shop to have the work done and go up to rent an Airbnb up in Millinocket. Um, we booked that. We've been planning it. And uh, just a few days ago we called to confirm and the uh, RV place said uh, that they couldn't work on it. They are backed up and are not able to do the work. So. We don't have campground reservations. We already paid for the Airbnb. So we're putting the RV in storage, which is our first time doing that. Um, this morning was a little rough. Uh, not used to packing up to go uh, stay somewhere else and moving the RV on the same time. Uh, to make things even more complicated, my sister had surgery and the boys were staying over at her place helping her out. So I had to go pick them up 45 minutes away um, and then come home and uh, move. So. It's been a long morning. We're running a little behind, but that's okay. Um, so we're gonna get the uh, RV unhooked. Uh, we are cramming everybody into the minivan. This is all four kids, me and Doug, three cats, two dogs, a leopard gecko, and all the stuff that we need. Um, it's gonna be a fun drive. This is up in uh, northern Maine, so it's still going to be like probably a good four hour drive like this. Um, and we've already been in the car for like an hour and a half. Uh, so, yeah. But moose are worth it, right? I've been waiting my whole life to see a moose. So, we better see one. This is our vacation rental. Uh, it is really cool, right in uh, Millinocket, Maine, just a short drive to Baxter State Park. The location could not be better. And the kids are so excited about having space to stretch out, to play their VR games without having to hit each other and the walls and everything else, to play trains, it is crazy. Uh, yeah, so we're also really enjoying having the space to cook and use a regular oven. Um, it is pretty cool. The only problem now is all the kids are ready to settle down and forget traveling. So we're going to go out, remind them of some of the super cool things we see when we're traveling, and hopefully have a nice day now that it is not raining. What do you guys think? It's cool. Yeah? It's cool. So this is uh, Upper Tog Pond at the kind of entrance to Baxter State Park in Maine. Um, there's an upper and lower pond. They're both uh, right kind of next to each other. It's actually almost kind of lake sized. It's beautiful here. It's like a picturesque Maine sort of thing. We have Mount Katahdin in the background. Um, 
nice, uh, a nice pond to swim in, the little sandy beaches and everything. Uh, this is definitely kind of, when we first started RVing, this is what we kind of pictured we'd be doing more of, and it's nice to find this. Uh, we also got out our inflatable kayak and floated that, and so uh, some of the kids are off kayaking, they'll come back and trade off, and it's just a, a very, very pleasant summer day in, in, in uh, upper Maine. So we got an inflatable kayak, uh, just because a lot of times we're, we're in campgrounds or we're near places where uh, it would be easy to just drop a kayak in the water and, and paddle around for a bit. So this will only be the second time we've tried using it. The first time was in some kind of swampy uh, uh, area of the Ipswich River. Uh, but uh, it's uh, it should be a lot of fun. Take a while to uh, pump up though, huh? Just a little. How long did it take you last time? Oh, I, it doesn't take more than 10 minutes. Oh, so 10 minutes of hard arm work, right? Well, I could use my foot. Oh. <laughs> break it. That works too. I was going to say, could I try it? You're supposed to be getting your bathing suit on, buddy. I don't suppose my bathing suit's in there, is it? I don't think I packed your bathing suit. No, Did you pack really. your bathing suit? I don't think so. Okay. It feels really nice. You like it, Fiona? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Is the water cold? Oh, um, it was cold at first, but it, like that I went in for a little while. It's cold now. Cool. How was it, guys? Good. It was fun. There was no place to uh, stop at to dock at the island. Though. Yeah, but you had a good time. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I got wet. Entire you got wet a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. The entire coast of the island was, it was covered in. On my leg and I'm covered in what luck? Bushes and rocks. Oh, so yeah. Like no, I said that.
enjoying our picnic -y dinner? Yeah. Yeah. What are you eating? Um, I ate, uh, I've been eating, um, fruit and, um, I ate some carrots with a, um, dip. Yeah. It's a nice way to have dinner when it's hot out, huh? Yep. Except for the bugs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you like our time up here in Millinocket? Yep. What was your favorite part? Um... Seeing some cool places and going kayaking. Mm. Not the beaver. Oh. <laughs> oh <geez. laughs> okay. Now I don't want to eat any more of that. You don't want to eat any more of this? Bees make honey. Yeah. The honey that they make, don't you? Mama. Alright, so we did not find any moose. That was a real bummer for me. Uh, but it is uh, one of the things that we talk about a lot is that when we plan trips we need to be careful with our expectations um, sometimes what you think is gonna happen doesn't happen actually I will say that's almost always the case for us <laughs> um, but you know we work on mindfulness and uh, appreciating what we do get to do um, we got to go swimming we got to go kayaking we saw a beaver I was nowhere on my radar for wildlife we would see, um, but it was really cool. Um, we were trying to go to this um, like natural rock water slide place um, that was full, so that was kind of disappointing, but we did some other cool stuff instead. Um, so I think it's important that, um, you know, when you're going on vacation like this is a vacation for us or just RVing in general or whatever. Um, to try to stay mindful and you know not focus on the disappointments because um, this is a pretty big disappointment for me um, <laughs> but we did still have a good time um, it's been a long day uh, we did stay out a little bit longer than we should have kids are a little bit overdone so we're gonna go home play some trains try to relax and move back into the RV tomorrow so thanks for watching guys